how should I be investing my Plan 3 account? Should I be putting more money into cash to get close to retirement? Is the bond fund any good? Should I stay away from emerging markets? Or is that going to potentially beat the SP 500? How do I allocate my Plan 3 account? These are questions I get all the time for people. And really as a licensed advisor, I can't tell you that without knowing your situation better, what assets you have, incomes, liabilities. There's so many questions that go around it before you can actually give any kind of pointed investment advice. Now, with all that aside, me and my partner did want to address this problem that we see a lot of people face. So we went ahead and developed a new system called Scenic Plan Confidence. So essentially it's a way for us to give you guys professional advice on an ongoing basis within your Plan 3 accounts, as well as your DCP and 4-3-B accounts. So this way, you're able to get professional, ongoing advice on how you should be invested within your retirement accounts, and it pr pretty much takes the guesswork out of the picture for you. So you don't have to sit around wondering, should I be moving my portfolio around okay? How am I invested? I have no idea what's going on. I heard this on the radio, should I make a change to my portfolio? If you follow the system, we'll tell you exactly where to keep your money, that's in accordance with your risk tolerance. And so the beauty of the service is you're able to choose your risk level that you want to take and the system will keep you within that realm. So you don't have to worry about taking on more risk than you initially want to. Many people in Plan 3 or even DCP get defaulted into target aid funds or in Plan 3's case, the WSIB fund, or otherwise known as the TAP fund. So the TAP fund is the default for many years for people that were hired before 2011. And it's pretty much an aggressive fund. It's got private equity in there, which you really can't track because it's all private, plus real estate and things like that. So it's a very aggressive fund, yet it underperforms SP 500. So anyone, I would say, in the 50s or up should be very careful if you have all your money in that fund. Now, if you're in the other end, in a target aid fund, these funds are actually now under investigation to determine if they are taking the appropriate amount of risk levels for everyone's given time horizon. Now these target funds, the goal is to have you guys invest in as you get closer to that retirement date, it, they slowly decrease the risk. However, because they got so much pressure for underperforming all the other investments, they had to increase their risk levels. So these target funds actually have more risk than most of you realize. So for instance, if you look it up, the 2065 target aid fund has the same level of risk as a 2045 fund. Now, is it appropriate for someone 20 years apart to have the same level of risk exposure? Should someone retiring in the next 25 years or so still have 90% of their money in the stock market? It's debatable and situational. But you have to look at like the 2020 fund, over 65% of their money is still in equities. The 2030 fund, so people retiring in just the next nine years, have about 80% of their money tied up in equities. So again, most people are taking on way more risk than they even realize in these plans. So you want some guidance so you can get yourselves out of those accounts and kind of have a little more tailored approach that kind of fits your own unique situation. That's exactly what our service called Senior Plan of Confidence can do for you guys. So once you've created an account, you choose your investment portfolios, you'll be instantly given the recommendations for you to go in and make yourself. And you also get updated on a quarterly basis on how to keep your portfolios current so you can stay within your risk levels. All right, so I hope you guys found that helpful. If you're interested in signing up, the link is in the description below. Be sure to check out these videos over here for more, and I'll speak to you guys next week. Remember that your future depends on what you do today.